I handled excelling in academics and all that with all my extracurriculars by putting school first, definitely, but also spending like late nights and just getting everything done and turned in and paying attention in class and using every opportunity I can to get stuff done and not waste any seconds. I'm definitely going to miss all the sports and that because I'm it's you at high school once and I did as many sports as I could and I'm going to be still be doing two of them but the two my two other sports I've been doing the longest and I'm going to really miss them. One of the most important things I've probably learned from a coach is you never know your full capability and you're not ever going to be the best at your sport so you just need to keep working hard and keep achieving those goals because you never can be satisfied. What exemplifies good sportsmanship to me is like being a great teammate and always congratulating like other teams, not getting so down if you like don't win something or anything. Like I, at the end of races, I like to congratulate everyone and just like tell them good job because they all went through a great effort to run the race, but not everyone can win. If I were to sit down with a junior high student right now, I would tell them don't waste any opportunities. High school goes by really fast and you only get four years of it. And there's so many clubs and sports that get you started and it's just a great opportunity to do anything. I think it's important for student athletes to remain humble because like I said earlier, not everyone is, no one's going to be the best at anything. You're not going to be the best at your sport. And so you have to stay humble and work your way up. And even then you're not going to be the best. So you never can stop trying and working your hardest. I would like to thank my family and my school and my teammates I and my coaching staff. I've been really blessed to have great parents that help me with everything and coaches that understand with like time and all my sports that and that I need to get through, like especially like cross country and volleyball. My cross country coach with volleyball barely went to practices and he was very understandable and made sure I had all my running plans and all that. The advice I'd give to a junior high student would definitely be to just enjoy it, to have fun, to not stress about like the little things and that, to know that a mistake is okay and that everything's going to be okay. The characteristics I look for in a leader is definitely um, trustworthiness and then good communication and good understanding of people, being able to read who they are and how they need to be talked to and how they need to learn. I'd say definitely hard work, constantly pushing myself through every workout and lift and constantly just pushing myself even farther than what I think I can do. And I definitely say teamwork, working with the team, communicating, learning each other and through experiences has really taught me a lot. To excel in both my interscholastic and my other activities, I would say just finding a balance between your schoolwork and your activities and finding time for each one of them, as well as like building a good support system, like teachers or parents or coaches have really helped me a lot. My participation has really helped build me for my future because it's really broken me out of my shell. I've been very reserved and then succeeding and working with people has really built my communication skills as well as my social skills. So. It's really helped me communicate with people for my future. Definitely competing just with a team and just as sports as a whole, because it's really hard. And then definitely the relationships that I built with coaches and teachers and other students have just really been nice in my life. <laughs> it's my mom's technically, but I use it a lot. It's always problem solved, don't panic. So whenever I'm stressed at like games or anything, I always just calm myself down and I think of a different way to like handle the situation or to just view it in any way. That's just a quote that I usually say a lot. I would definitely tell them to try everything, even if it's outside of their comfort zone. For example, when I started doing chess, I didn't do it till sophomore year. And I wish I would have done it freshman year because I didn't do it freshman year because I thought like it might have been a little weird or like different, but I'm glad that I've done it now and you can find friends in all different kinds of places. So try everything. I look in a leader to lead by example that a leader that says like the things that they say, they also carry out in their own lives. That's definitely the most important characteristic to me because a leader who says one thing and does another thing is not a very effective leader.
Humility is definitely a very important factor because one minute you can be on top of the world and the next you can be at rock bottom. So it's to protect yourself from obviously pride before comes before the fall. So being humble definitely makes sure that you don't get like flamed for being cocky, I guess. I think they're more unique because it's, I feel like they're seasons that like a club season, they're not the people you've grown up with sometimes because like, I like a travel season, I guess, like in baseball, like those are kids from all different counties and towns, but these like high school sports, I've grown up with my friends since like fifth grade talking about when we're going to be on varsity for this sport. And now it's finally happening. We only get two years, maybe three years of it. So that's what makes it special to me, getting to try to make playoff runs with your friends and that you've grown up with and dreamed about your whole life, really. I'd like to thank my parents, number one, God, and my coaches. I'm going to name some. Mr. Brada, he's my chess coach, and he's the reason why I love chess so much. He's been a great coach, and he's just a great guy, and he deserves a special shout out for sure. I think what motivates me is my own like internal drive. I'm a very competitive person, but that competition is with myself. Like, okay, last meet I did this, last competition I did this, how can I improve and get better? Or like these past few years I've competed these skills, like how can I improve myself, do better so I can score higher and hopefully make it further in my athletic career. Like I, I was really hard on myself growing up in the gym and if like things weren't perfect, like I would always be so frustrated with myself. But my club coach used to always tell me like, every day you're in the gym on the equipment and like working towards your goal is a good day, regardless if like you accomplished anything or not. Like as long as you're still working at it, like you're still moving towards your goal. I think interscholastic sports are so important because it teaches you how to like bond with other people. And it also brings you into a part of the high school you know, with club activities, you're sort of isolated. That's sort of an outside organization. But when you're doing it through the high school, I feel like you meet more people and you're able to build more relationships. And then also like your high school coaches, a lot of the times they're also teachers. And so they understand the importance of academics as well. So if you're not doing so hot in the class, like they are either there to help and support you and provide resources, or they'll give you time because a lot of them value academics just as much, if not more than uh, your athletics. And I think it, in clubs, sometimes the lines can get blurry and some coaches are so intense in club that they sort of force you to focus on your athletics more than your academics, which isn't always the best. Like corny as it is, I would like to thank my parents because growing up in gymnastics, there's a lot of driving, there's a lot of hours to, because my club gym is like a half an hour away. So driving me there and back and just supporting me no matter what. When I would come home like sobbing from practice, they were always there to like talk to me, sort of give me like a motivational speech, but also like they left me alone. They weren't always like on me. They don't really care if I do good in the sport as long as I'm happy with myself and my own performance. Like they don't their goal isn't for me to be the best. It's just for me to be happy and doing good in a sport that I love. It has prepared me for my future, like socially. I'm still kind of, I'm not really good at speaking in front of a lot of people, but like now that I've done sports for so long, it's easy to make friends or like meet new people kind of, cause like you're around a bunch of different people all the time. And I feel like it, it builds a strong mindset when you do sports. Like you mess up, but then you just got to keep going. And like you are you become mentally tough. So I feel like that'll help me in the future. It's pretty hard, to be honest, being a student athlete. You know, you got to time manage. That's what I do. Like just organizing everything. Like this is what I got to get done. And then I have practice and then I got to do more work. You know, just keeping everything organized and managing my time. One, I would say I've learned from a coach, hard work pays off for sure. No matter if you see the improvement or not, it's helping you in some way. And just like accountability for sure. Like if you're slacking off, you're going to feel it. Or if you 
doing something you have no business doing is going to come back to get you, you know, just always being on top of everything. I feel like it's so unique because like throughout your whole four years, you're going to be around the same people. And it's like you build a family no matter what sport you're doing or what sport you're in. And like you learn from it, like no matter what what situation you're going through or how your team is doing, you learn and you grow. I feel like that's what makes it so unique. Oh, this is a long list of people that I would, <laughs> that I would like to thank. Um, Dr. Walters, my mom, Wilcox, Coach Lowe, Coach Amie, my friends, a lot of people, the whole like school staff, just everybody. I've learned a lot of values during interscholastic participation, time management, uh, always working hard. But one of the biggest things that I've learned is how to handle failure and shortcomings and how to use them to become better in life. Uh, you know, nothing nothing is ever going to be perfect when you go through life. And I feel like athletics really reflects this well. And using these failures during your practices, during games or during training, and then using them to better yourself and force yourself to become that much better that they don't happen. I feel like that could really help me like later in life whenever I face challenges. I feel like I'm going to miss the connection that we have as a high school. Definitely coming from a small town and a small conference, uh, you learn that a lot of people around the community are watching you and you can build a lot of relationships with these people, whether it's your teachers, your coaches, parents in the community or even your opponents. You get to learn these people over the years and you get to like you feel closer to them, whether you compete against them or you're on the same team. So I think going from a small town to a bigger, like a bigger place, it's really the connections that I'll miss most. If I had a personal quote to think about, it would, uh, it's a quote from a sports movie. I believe the quote goes, when facing a challenge, you sink to the level of your training, you don't rise to the occasion. And I use that often to think about how like when you prepare, you need to prepare to face whatever you're going to face in life. And you can't just kind of skate by and hope it all works out. And you have to rely on what you know and what you've taught yourself. Interscholastic activities, it brings you, it kind of brings you together. You see like, as opposed to travel ball or club sports, you see these people every day, like in the hallways, in your classes, you're probably in groups with them all the time. You see them like outside of school, in your community. You just kind of see these people every day. And then these activities help you bond and they help you bring them, bring you close together. They kind of create a sense of family throughout your community, throughout your school and throughout the team itself. So in terms of values, when I think about like baseball, um, most of baseball is failure. Uh, they say, you know, a lot, if you fail 70% of the time in baseball, you're a Hall of Famer, whatever. Um, and I think baseball has definitely taught me how to fail and how to deal with failure and how to treat failure as like accept it as a part of the learning process and that I'm not going to get anywhere without making mistakes. Sometimes I'll let my team down. I'll let myself down. And that is a necessary thing that has to happen if I'm going to become a better baseball player or if I'm just going to become a better person and competitor in general. And so baseball has helped me come to terms with um, accepting failure. It's a tremendous honor. I'm very, very grateful. I hope that we haven't had one of these in uh, years and years. And so I really hope that me uh, getting this honor will show younger students that you can do this too. And so I hope that I can be a role model for younger students to uh, strive to be their best and that it's possible. Be a simple man. It's uh, my dad's favorite song, Simple Man by Leonard Skinner. And uh, that's always just struck a chord with me. Don't, don't make things too complicated. Just live life, do your best, and things will always work out and just make things simple. My parents, obviously, uh, my brother for bringing out the best and worst in me sometimes. Obviously, all my teachers, we have incredible teachers here at Porta. All the teachers I've had have been amazing. And so um, definitely want to thank them, Miss Mack, um, for giving me this opportunity and, uh, my family for supporting me the whole way, my friends for always being there for me. 
My most memorable moment in playing sports in my high school career was definitely when we won the state championship my freshman year in 2021 during softball. It was such an unforgettable event, and what made it even more special was we were the first team to bring home a state championship to Alina Bluffs High School. Being a student athlete can definitely be challenging sometimes, but something that helps me is prioritizing and understanding that student does come before athlete. So that means if you have to give up going to a practice or something to get homework or study for a test, then you just have to understand that. And learning, learning how to manage your time and optimize all the time you have definitely helps because of how busy I am. Participating in sports has definitely helped prepare me for my future. It has taught me things like leadership, um, working with others and communication skills. And these are all things that I'll use in my future. Um, it has also taught me how to work well under pressure situations. So sometimes games can be stressful and just learning how to thrive off of this will really help me. I definitely do have a favorite quote. So my basketball coach actually says this all the time to us girls at the end of the season and it's kind of bittersweet, but it's don't cry because it's over, smile because it happened. And I really take this to heart because you just have to remember all the good times you've had. If I were to sit down with a younger student, I would tell them to work hard in everything that they do, whether it's in school or in the, in the gym, on the field, just because hard work never goes unnoticed. And I would also tell them to remember why you're doing stuff in the first place and to always have fun in everything that they do because time does fly. Um, interscholastic sports are definitely different because you're participating with kids at your high school. So you're definitely closer to everyone than you would be for a travel team. And it's so different because you have your whole community supporting you. You have parents and neighbors and they're all invested in your season. I want to thank my parents and all of the coaches that I've ever had for pushing me to be the best athlete and person that I can be. So when I'm on the basketball court, I have to be very, um, I have to be the leader of the team and I have to be responsible, respectful, all of those attributes. And that transfers over to being the student body president, where I also have to use my voice and um, be a leader to my classmates. Um, in basketball, it's over a smaller group, just my teammates that are on the team. However, as a student body president, I have a voice for um, the entire school. And so um, I have to think of it in that way. Being named to the Allstate academic team is um, one of the greatest honors I've been able to receive. I think that it speaks volumes for the, um, the sports that I've been able to participate in, as well as the academic side. I think that it's really cool to be able to excel in both and to be able to considered to be considered as um, someone that does excel in both is um, an accolade that I am so grateful to be presented. I think it's really cool because you grow up with these people that are your teammates that you play with. And so you create this bond and have this chemistry on the court that you may not always get on an AAU team where teams are um, constantly changing and people are constantly going to different teams. I think that it's really cool um, with this interscholastics that you grow up with these people. And then the towns around you that you play are people that you've known all growing up and you've played against all growing up. And so um, everybody just kind of, you can see everybody just grow into who they are as, as you continue to play them throughout the years. I would like to thank my parents and my family because I wouldn't be the player I am without them. And I would also like to thank um, my coach, Coach Rohr and Coach Farmer for always believing in me and pushing me to be the best player and person that I can be. A value that I've learned through my participation has been discipline. Um, with golf, especially there are some days where you don't wanna practice, but you have to do it anyways to continue to get better. And like, there's also the quantity of time you practice versus the quality of time. You know, you can go out there and spend hours, but if you're not doing what you're supposed to with technique, you're not making yourself better. You're not improving. And also, I've also learned the value of like the power of a positive mindset because in a competition, if you're thinking negatively, you can take yourself out before the competition's even begun. So it's really important to keep positive thinking, um, even when the situation might not be the greatest. You know, there's one, I don't know who exactly said it, but 
my dad told it to me a long time ago and he, he was like hard work beats talent when talent don't work hard and basically that's just a good daily reminder to me that if I don't work hard there are people who may not have as much talent as me but who will work harder and will surpass me so it's a great motivator for me to just always kind of keep my eyes on the prize and work as hard as I can. In a leader I look for those who are willing to lead by example because I believe that not only does a, is a leader like somebody who you can look up to, but I think they're also someone who maybe was once in your position so they can help you and assist you and give you advice on, you know, maybe what you should look for um, or what you can do. Well, aside from the obvious of missing seeing my friends every day, I think I'm actually really going to miss my teachers through my four years in high school, they've really been understanding um, with my busy golf schedule. So I'm really appreciative of that. And also a fair number of them are really enthusiastic about their subjects. So I've found that's made me more interested and engaged in the class. Um, one of my teachers actually has encouraged me to be more interested in just government. And that's part of the reason why my intended major will be including politics. I think uh, I handle excelling inside the classroom and in extracurricular activities because I set aside time for school and running. Like I'll do like, I'll make sure like I'm not like stressing about any homework, or, like putting it to the last moment. I'll do it right when it's assigned. So I'm not stressing about it. And then so it doesn't make me stressed out for school and running. Participation has prepared me for my future in many ways, from the discipline, like sh just showing up every day, not being late, to like putting in, like you know you have to put in the hard work every day to if you want to see like a goal, to reach your goals, you have to put in the hard work and not finishing like the job midway. You have to complete the whole thing and not giving up. Uh, being named uh, all state academic team means a lot to me just because like not only one out of 26 I'm one of 26 people in the whole entire state that got it so it means a lot to me just because it like, shows how much work I've actually put in and getting this word is like the big payout at the end of the four years the interscholastic sports is unique just because you're with these uh, people almost all four years if they don't like move. So you're able to like build way better memories with them through in school and outside of school with sports. The character six I look like look in a leader is well spoken, not nervous to like take initiative and like one that's not like too serious where it's like everyone hates them, but like also one that wants to have fun as well. Not really any hidden talents, but I guess I uh, I have my CLP, which means I could drive like a semi truck with my dad, like in the cab. I'd like to thank my parents and my family, just like so much they what they have done for me through my mom, like looking at like what I should be eating every day, and our dad providing for us. I think participation in you know school activities has prepared me because. It's taught me a lot of lessons for sure. Um, it's taught me how to overcome mistakes, uh, how to take challenges head on, um, and just how to be a leader and how to, you know, respect other people and their opinions and um, and to just be a positive, positive light, you know, that people can can always look to, you know, when they need it. I really uh, pride myself on being someone who my teammates can always rely on and even my classmates too. Um, so I think just all of those things combined just really have set me up to, you know, kind of have a good judgment and um, a good faith going into the next four years of my life. It's a huge honor. It was, I've, you know, experienced a lot of, you know, accolades in sports. And so to get one for um, academics is super, super cool. Um, I take my academics very seriously. Um, and it's something that's very important to me. So, you know, being able to be a part of this group is super, super cool. Just how to honestly be a good teammate and how to be coachable, you know, um, just being a person that, you know, like I've said a million times that everyone can rely on is huge. Um, and even your coaches, you know, I experienced that a lot this year. My head coach and I are very close in basketball. Um, so just being someone that they can always count on to do the right thing and um, to lead by example is huge. I want to thank God, of course. He has 
um, you know, a greater plan for, for me. And I trust in his um, plan all the way. Um, and then my family, my family is huge um, to me and they've always had my back, always supported me no matter what. Um, and especially in these last couple of years of my life when I've, you know, I'm getting older and I'm discovering, you know, what I really, what my true passions are and what I really want to do. And, um, you know, playing the, at the next level in basketball, um, they've just always been there every step of the way, supporting me, taking me to practices, um, you know, paying for all these AAU tournaments and everything. So, um, and my family for sure. I've learned many values. Uh, the main ones are probably discipline, um, then obviously accountability and responsibility. Discipline, meaning that, you know, sports, you know, interscholastic activities aren't easy sometimes. Like there's some times where you're going to have to make some hard decisions and, you know, push through the push through tough times. And then responsibility and accountability is something as little as forgetting your backpack or forgetting your shoes to practice. So it kind of teaches you to be more responsible or, you know, if you're, you know, there's five seconds left in the state championship game and, you know, your teammates are counting on you, then that teaches you to mentally you know, teaches you that responsibility. My most memorable moment is winning my first state title in track and field this past year in the 800. Um, you know, going to national meets is fun and, you know, competing against the best national titles are fun, but there's something about that first time that that gold IHSA medals around your neck in front of the that crowd at uh, in Charleston. And after the race, your teammates are just, you know, super excited for you and just the bus ride home is just I think that's the most memorable moment for sure when you go to college you know every anything I did in high school doesn't matter to them I mean I'm back at the bottom and I have to keep working my way up and I think I think I'll be ready for that it'll definitely be challenging at times because you know not everyone you know no one knows who you are now it's like you're you're right back at the bottom and you got to yeah, but I think I think I'll I'll be prepared for it and it'll be it'll be a good experience for sure cuz I think you know freshman year that was the same thing I had to work my way up on, you know, football team, basketball team, track in general. So it'll it'll definitely be it'll definitely be good, but it's definitely good that I've realized that already and not realized it later when, you know, it actually comes to fruition. We kind of have a saying that we say um in the club which is um, a, like turn a ripple into a wave um, so like a single act of leadership um, when they're like all put together and you know everyone within that club is each like doing their part and there being their own ripple like it'll end up becoming a wave um, and then hopefully we'll just see an entire school um, you know who can show leadership um, and just be strong in that way um, and so I think there's just been so many valuable lessons that I've learned from that club that I'll be able to carry into um, college and in my future. Yeah, I think there's something special about high school, how, you know, you come to this building every single day. Um, the same people are here every single day, um, especially with a lot of the clubs in sports. Um, since I've been in middle school, like it's been those that same group of people um, who, you know, I've been on the student council with some of these people since middle school, or I've played basketball with some of these girls since middle school. And so I think it's just cool how we're on this team or we're on this club um, because we all go to normal community. Um, and that's kind of like a shared identity that we have together. Uh, I think the quote, just being a champion life means like being excellent on multiple different levels, whether that's athletically or ac academically. Um, and I think that's what's something that's really special and why this award is such an honor um, is just because it does recognize athletes for more than just um, their athletic ability. Uh, and I think that's something that a lot of awards do not always recognize. Um, I think a lot of awards are very quick to call out the talent in athletes, um, but this one definitely takes a well-rounded approach of um, people and high schoolers for their academics, their community service, and just their overall, you know, well, like who they are as a person. I think the my most memorable moment is actually this year um, in our senior night for basketball. We normally don't have large crowds for women's girls basketball in general, but for senior night, we've worked really, really hard to get everyone to show out and support sports equally. Um, so the whole boys basketball team came, like everyone came and we ended up winning at a buzzer beater by one point and everyone stormed the court. And it was just like 
the most amazing experience I've ever had because I've had so many times where I've made that buzzer beater and it's just like silent, like our team cheering. And I'm like, I wish our school was here to, you know, see that moment. But that was very special. I think good sportsmanship is just respect, all about respect. You know, you really have to respect the other person on the court or whatever it is in the gym um, because you never know what they're going through or what it took for them to get to this point. Um, It's all competition when you're in the moment, but sportsmanship is being able to shake their hand after the game and look them in the eye and really tell them, you know, that you respect them and see them no matter what the outcome of the game was. I I think the most important thing I've learned from a coach was from my tennis coaches this year, we got new coaches. um, And I don't think it's something that they said, but I think it's just them believing in me. I often think of like the quote, like you'll never, they'll never remember what you said, but they'll remember how you made them feel. And through lots of different coaches, coaches that not did not believe me or tore me down. I think getting coaches that just built me up and believed in me is why I was able to be so successful this year and really just shows the power that coaches hold. So how I handle excelling in the classroom and in my interscholastic activities is I know that uh, I need to have a balance between the two because both are extremely important to me. So I know, you know, maybe I need to stay up a couple extra hours so I can get my homework done, but also I can enjoy the things that I do with interscholastic sports. Um, So I know that I need to have that balance so I can enjoy both because they're both really important to me. A personal quote that I like to think about, it's from the Bible, it's Proverbs 13, 4. And I think it goes, um, the soul of the lazy man desires yet has nothing, but the soul of the diligent shall be made rich. I think personally, what advice I would give to a junior high student would be that um, find something that you love doing. Like as soon as I got to high school, I knew that I love sports and being successful in the classroom was important to me as well. So I both, I enjoyed both and I stayed active with them both. And I couldn't have asked for a better high school career, not because of what has happened. I mean, if I never won a regional in any sport, anything, I still had so much fun with my coaches, teammates. So I think getting involved is extremely important. I think high school sports are so unique because there's a sort of culture that has developed over time with the people who are alumni or the people who plan on going to the high school, they see that it's just like a completely different environment, world, like different type of schooling. So um, they love going to the sports games, being like so dedicated to being a fan. It's just completely different because travel teams are something that, you know, you do it over the summer, you do it to quote unquote, improve your skills. But realistically the environment, um, within the high school sports is like, that's what really is going to make you better with your skills in the long run. When we talk to the freshmen, we kind of just give them advice on some of their classes, like how to manage their transition from middle school to high school. So we'll share with them different resources that York has. And then we share like personal experiences, like how we have personally used those resources. So hopefully you know, they hear something that, oh, maybe I want to try this and that they'll give it a try themselves and hopefully it'll help them. So some values that I've learned through participating in the interscholastic sports that I've done is definitely learning confidence and being able to grow from my freshman year, being like unsure of my abilities to growing into a confident person through like the opportunities of competition that I've had in this activities Also determination and like drive, those are something that I've had to use during like all the practices that we've had. And when things get tough, just being able to keep going, those values I think I'll be able to use like for the rest of my life. I think one thing that I think of the most, I'll miss my teammates. I love them so much, Um, like my cross country and track teammates. It's so fun. I know I'll be getting like new teammates, but I'll just miss them so much. I I hope that we'll stay in touch because I've stayed in touch with like the graduated seniors now. So hopefully we continue that trend and just stay friends with the old teammates. I know we will. Um, I'll also miss like 
seeing people in classes, like going to classes every day and seeing those same people and like making friends with them because I know college is a little bit different. Being named to this Allstate academic team definitely means a lot to me. Um, I'm very thankful for this honor. Um, I definitely am very thankful to represent my school, York. They've definitely, the athletic program and like all the coaches and teachers there who have like helped me throughout my four years being a student athlete. I'm very thankful for all of them and my teammates also. So yeah, it means a lot. Teamwork is a big part of it. I know, you know, when I do end up, you know, getting a job in the future, uh, it's important to, you know, work with, you know, other other employees. And I think sports um, has been uh, really helpful for me and, you know, communicating with other people, maintaining those relationships. Um, so I think that's going to carry well, you know, from athletics into my future. It's going to be, it's going to be weird. Um, I think as a senior, I was a lot more focused on, you know, being a vocal leader, um, you know, helping out teammates, giving them advice. But I think that's not the only way you can be a leader. I think next year I'm going to, you know, be a leader by example. Um, and, you know, give, you know, the seniors at my college, I'll give everything I have to them. Um, but yeah, just, you know, working hard in the, in the room every day. Um, giving it my best. I think that's, you know, a way I can be a leader without maybe being like being vocal or being a captain on the team. Yeah. So our, our wrestling coach, he tells us a lot of quotes to kind of keep us, keep us motivated. Um, one thing he likes to say a lot is you have to get comfortable being uncomfortable. Um, I think that's definitely something that I've stuck to. Training's not always, you know, the most fun thing. Same with like putting that on top of school. A lot of the times I can get stressed out. Or, um, you know, maybe like I'll be in a situation where, you know, I'm not having as much fun as my friends who are going out, hanging out with each other, doing other stuff on school nights. So a lot of the times, you know, things can get tough, but um, you got to get used to that. And I think that quote has definitely um, impacted me. I'd like to thank my parents, my mom and my dad, my sister. Um, she's a couple years older. She set a great example for me. Then definitely, you know, my coaches, my wrestling coaches, my football coaches, they really supported me, especially being a multi-sport athlete. I know it's not always the easiest missing some competition, but they've been they've been great. And then in the classroom, my teachers have all been great. And then classmates and teammates have both helped me out on and off the field with whether it's, you know, an assignment, a move in wrestling, play call in football, they've all been great. I've really loved uh since I was in grade school, there was this quote on the wall and it's kind of stuck with me, but it's you miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. And I thought that it went, yes, with basketball, which was what I was involved in at the moment, but also with everything that I'm involved in now. It kind of comes to mind in a lot of the things that I think about when I'm, when I'm thinking about everything, especially in school subjects or like wrestling, anything like that, social-wise or education. My coach, Bart, is a person that I look to to as a role model. He's been there since uh, my freshman year. Uh, he's my wrestling coach. He has supported me in so many different things, not just in wrestling. He supported me in what I'm choosing as uh, college options. He's supported me in different uh, occasions that I've needed him. He's pushed me, even when I've hated it, to do a bunch of cardio. He's, he's definitely made me a better person, um, and I don't think I would have made it to where I am without him. Uh, definitely food. I love eating, um, candy and all that stuff. But other than that, with things like my sports and everything, it's, it's the determination to get better. It's learning different techniques and how do I fix these techniques. And if I've learned something that has become kind of a habit. How do I break this habit? It's it's my curiosity for, for the knowledge of the different techniques. But first, I would like to really thank my parents, my mom, and my dad for being there for me. My coach, Bart Pulliam, and Jake Lapotis, they've been there for me. Those two coaches have have been the world. They, they mean everything. Being a coachable player just, you know, means not necessarily uh talking back to your coach when he tells you to do something you know sometimes your coach may ask you to do things for the benefit of the team 
And that may not always be what you want to do, but you have to understand that it's a team game and it's not just about you. So, you know, doing things that's best for the team and taking instruction from your coach, you know, not thinking you know everything and uh, just having open ears and an open mind to accept guidance and wisdom from your coaches. It's, that's what being coach book means to me. Being named for this team means a lot to me. You know, to be recognized for my academic accomplishments means a lot to me, especially since I work just as hard academically as I do athletically. And, I'm, and that has not always been brought to the forefront. I'm glad people can finally see that I am a well-rounded uh, individual and not just an athlete, but also a scholar. Uh, I definitely try to stay prepared, you know, uh, for whether that's for a test, uh, for a game, preparation is, is key. And uh, it will always lead to success if you prepare the right way. So being successful means being prepared. And that's something that I do live by. I would tell them to stay humble and don't get ahead of themselves. You know, a lot of kids also place more emphasis on the athletic side more than the academic side. So I would tell them it's cool to be smart and it's cool to get good grades, you know, and then don't become complacent. You know, always work hard, always strive to be the best. And then uh, stand on your faith and trust God through the process. Interscholastic sports, the fans that come out to watch them, especially for the big games and stuff like that. You don't really get that for the clubs. And no shade against the clubs. I love clubs and everything like that. But it's just a different feeling when you go on, when you two teams face off against each other. And like, like in Friday Night Light game, you know, you have thousands of people there. You know, it's just that's what makes it great. The atmosphere and uh, how much preparation goes into it is definitely, I think, difference. First, I would say it takes a lot of discipline, but also a lot of sacrifice. You're not going to be able to do all the things you want to do. Sometimes you're going to be have to stay in and study or or work extra hard at, at practice and then come home and do do more, do more homework for for that class you got next uh, the next day. So I would say, yeah, a lot of discipline, uh, responsibility, like managing your time so you have enough for both and then uh, uh, sacrifice as well. Both my football and basketball coach kind of have the same teachings. Uh, they teach you to be, yeah, it's good to be a great athlete and great person, but uh, most people are going to remember you by the how they made you feel, how you make people feel, and the person you are off the field. So I would say uh, it's better to be a better person than a better athlete. I'd say a quote that I, I really like and has a lot of meaning is, commitment is staying true to what you said you would do long after the moon you set in has left. Uh, I really think that means a lot because you can say things in one mood and then after time passes, you may not feel the same way and just not stay committed to it. So uh, I think uh, that's a really good quote to live by. Uh, so, yeah, that's that's our team. That's our school's motto. I think it really is. Iron does sharpen iron. If you're going to school and going to practice against the best of the best, you're only better in yourself, whether that's in the classroom with your with your classmates or in the field with your teammates. I think when you go against people that are as good as you or better or the same as you, you just it just makes everyone around you better. I think I think good sportsmanship starts with the coaches. They they really preach in practice and then in the games it they show it. Uh, I think Good sportsmanship is a great thing to have, and it really shows like the the impact the whole school has on on the students and the athletes themselves. I just want to thank my my all my coaches, all my teammates, my classmates, all my teachers, and then my family. I guess being a champion is what you want to do in everything. You always want to be winning, and whether it, you want to be the best you can be in your sports, you want to be the best you can be in your schoolwork, you just want to be the best person you can be. So um, just being the best you can be at all times in life. Like if you have goals, if you work hard enough for them, you're going to accomplish them. And I'd say a lot of the, a lot of the kids who are looking up to me want to accomplish something in a sport. Just be a good person prioritize your grades and i'd say coaches and people in general they just want to deal with good people who are smart and if you are a good person i think your opportunities are going to open up it's definitely my junior year when i won my first state title that's been a goal of mine since for as long as i can remember even whenever i was still back in middle school that's always been a goal of mine and that was my first time being able to do it and 
it was just a really exciting moment. I think it really is just being able to like compete for your school, like representing your school and where you're from. I mean, that's really where you're always from. Even whenever you're in college, like they'll announce you as Mason Teifel from Benton High School. Like you're representing your town. And I think that's just important to me. I want to thank my parents. They've drove me all over the country for so long, wrestling, playing baseball, um, I mean, just vacations and my coaches, they've spent so much time away from their families. And if I, if I text my coach right now, asking if I can get in the mat room, I'd be able to get in there in 30 minutes. And like, they just do whatever I need them to do and they'll do anything for me. So it's just really nice having people behind me that will support me and help me in any way they can. Academics is always first. That's what's going to give you the chance to do sports in the IHSA. And I always get my work done before I do anything else, uh, like for sports. I get that done, make sure I get all my 100% effort in. And after that, I just do do my thing with sports and enjoy that. And I believe it's a privilege to be in a sport. It has taught me many lessons and values that I learned throughout my high school career. Um, one of them is drive and determination. I set myself, um, I set my goals very high, and it gives me that that push for me to to be able to uh, achieve those goals. My my advice would be for a younger athletes and students is not to give up on your goals. Always give it a hundred percent. Be patient, even though when the six is not in front of you. At the end, you you might experience success towards the end. And have faith that everything happens for a reason. It's very important because it shows character. Um, I believe being humble is a really good thing to have. Um, it just shows you as a person, not only in the match, on the field, or any sport you play, but as a person outside of that. Uh, definitely going to tournaments with the wrestling team. I feel really like we have bonded so much just going to a trip down maybe a Granite City or in the work, another tournament that we go to. And we just really bonded and created a brotherhood amongst the wrestlers. These these are, these are the people that you go to school with, you know. You see these people every day. And when you when you bond with these guys or girls, like you you are reaching for the same goal at the end of whatever sport you do. And that's what makes it very unique compared to a travel team because you could just join and there you go. Like, no, like they could just have fun, but like uh, being in a team, like in a wrestling team, we have very similar goals and that's what we want to achieve them and help each other out. I also learned a lot of leadership and um, elements because I was a team captain for cross country and track. So as being a team captain, I've learned how to lead people in both big and small ways. Uh, sometimes not always being the biggest, um, the loudest person there. Um, and then also teamwork is a big thing. Normally with running, you don't think you're, you're doing it for yourself, but also learning for others before yourself is an important um, thing as well as collaboration with your teammates. I was actually the very first student uh, in your belt to be named um, part of this team. So it's really significant to me. I'm really proud to be the first person um, it kind of serves as like a recognition of all the work I put into my academic and athletic life. So it's, uh, I'm really grateful to be part of this team. Um, and a leader, I look for someone that's confident and um, brave. So even if they are nervous or are unsure about something they're doing, just putting on a good look for everyone else and being a good example that's really important i kind of think about how i put in a lot of work and a champion for life is how i've dedicated myself in both sports now and also my athletic and academic career so not only was i doing this for high school but it's also prepared me for a good future as well I think they're a really good way to make friends. Um, most of all, like socially, I've made so many of my friends through my sports, but it also just teaches you a lot of like life lessons that you probably wouldn't see just going home after school. Like it really exposes you to a different environment where um, 
I mean, you don't have as much time and you kind of have to get used to being like, not get used to being stressed, but like knowing how to deal with it. And like, it's a good way also to stay healthy um, physically, but it does teach a lot of life lessons about um, hard work and stuff. I would definitely say the values I've learned through interscholastic participation would be work ethic, discipline, and perseverance, because you've got to be able to work, give a hundred percent effort. You got to be the first in first out. If you want to be the best at what you can be, as well as you got to have the discipline to make those sacrifices and you just got to, you never want to give up. You just want to be the best you can be. I would definitely say just my biggest motivation has come from sports. It's wanting to be the best I can be. And when, when I see someone that's working harder than me, I've, I just have to work harder. I gotta be, I gotta be working the hardest out of everyone. I feel like that's the biggest thing I've tried to do. I would say it's definitely helped me develop as a leader. So by playing sports, I've been fortunate enough that I've been able to receive a captain role on the team. And through that captain role, I've learned to not only lead them, but be a servant leader and work with my teammates instead of just telling my teammates what to do. And then that's allowed me to work on my communication as well as learning to trust the process and learn more, which I'll be able to use very well in the future. I would say the biggest thing about high school that I'm going to miss is the relationships. Like with having the community, the teachers, peers, younger kids, all the coaches, everyone behind you, it's something that's definitely you, you lose a lot of that sometimes when you get out of high school. And that's one thing I'm really hoping I never lose. The big, the characteristics I would look for in a leader are trustworthiness, respect, and discipline. Because if someone's trustworthy, you're, you can, you can believe their word. You can understand that they're going to direct you the right way. They're not going to try to set you up for failure in any sort of way. And if they're disciplined, you know that they've worked hard to get to where they're at. I'd like to thank my mom, my dad, my brother, and pretty much the rest of my family, as well as my coaches and teachers for helping to push me to where I am today. For me, I think I'm a very competitive person. So, and I've been fortunate to be surrounded with some very talented and competitive people as well. So for us, or, in, or for me in particular, I just like to uh, push myself and push each other and use like competition as a way to better everyone involved um so whether it be seeing who can get a better grade per se or see who can like win the next drill it's always just that sense of competition um has elevated i think me in both the classroom and in the sports i've done it means a lot to me because i feel like a lot of the time you get viewed either as an athlete or as a student, um, at least when you like in an award sense per se. Um, so ha to get an award that recognizes like both the work I've put in, in the, in the classroom and in the athletic field, um, it, it's pretty cool. Most important thing I've learned from a coach what he he calls his um, wings is it's how to be a wing um and it's being a wing and not a weight so no matter what how you're playing that day um you could be hitting every shot making every play or you could be playing awfully and it's um it's all about how can you make the biggest impact on your team how can you pick your teammates up and trust them um to get the job done even when you can't and make any impact you can um, and just being positive.